guys, welcome to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for coming today. We are doing something totally different. Um, I'm a little nervous because I don't have a lot of practice with this, um, but I'm excited to test it out as well. I'm also not testing it on myself or on a living human, so what's the worst that could happen? Not a lot. Um, I'd like to introduce you to my first friend here. His name is Harold. He's uh, got some problems. At work, we are next to a haircutting studio and they had uh, thrown him and his two friends into a dumpster. Probably to expose of some evidence. Uh, yikes. Yikes. Anyway, we decided we would retrieve them from the dumpster and uh, we would paint them for Halloween and we would set them around the store. So my boss asked me to do it and I was like, I can do this. And I've been really working on coming up with different concepts for the heads. Now I am going to use special effects makeup. I had some from a while ago I have not used and because of that, I'm like, might as well use it. I hope it will work um, because it's meant for human skin and obviously he is very plastic, but if it doesn't work, we'll readjust. So I have Pro Air and I have Meron um, makeup and both are very high end. I purchased them when I got my airbrush and then I did not use them a lot. So I was like, well, we'll test them out today. Um, I'm thinking for, Harold. The other two will be doing in other videos, but for Harold, I'm pretty sure he's going to be clown because he's got all that blue on his face and I think that I can cover it up the best that way. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into this. Um, I do have a nice little airbrush right here. It is a relatively inexpensive one. Uh, I got it a little while ago, like about a year and a half ago at this point. And like I said, I haven't worked a ton with it, but I've worked with airbrushes in the past. So I'm hoping that we can make it uh, happen. So I'm just gonna start off with white. And it, it is, it is working, but I don't know how well it's gonna dry. That's my biggest concern at the moment. But it's actually working a lot better than I thought it might. So this is, he's got a little milky eye going on. This is what we're working with here. Since he is not human, it's getting a little wet. So I'm going to take my I have a couple brushes because I'm going to have to obviously do some hand painting stuff as well for the finer details. And I'm going to see if I can get it to dry down a little bit with this here brush. If I can get the brown off of it because it used to be one of my old contour brushes and now I don't use it anymore and I haven't washed it. So it's a little murky, if you will. Ah, that did not help. All right, we're going to use my finger instead. And nope. Nope. Go get me a beauty blender, the one from my bag that is um, the hard egg one. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go on to the other side and I'm gonna try not to have quite as heavy of a hand because I think that's part of the issue here. Yes, perfect, thank you. <laughs> nope. Nailed it. <laughs> it's fine, poor Harold, he's been through some stuff. I'm actually very impressed with how well this is doing though, considering it is not on human skin. One of the, I know this thing is loud, so I'm gonna try and talk over it. I don't know if that'll work very well, but one of the big uh, concerns a lot of times with airbrushes is you can potentially blow out somebody's pores with this. So actually practicing on a dummy is a little less intimidating because like there's literally nothing that can happen. These were literally in the trash. Like I can't hurt anybody. I can't mess up really. So like even if they look terrible, like, oh well, it's Halloween. But I do want to make sure that his face is fully covered so that he doesn't have like a weird like neckline, even though he's, you know, a head on a stick, whatever. His um, writing in the corner of the back kind of looks like Takashi 6 9 tattoos. <laughs> I should make him a snitch for Halloween. <laughs> yes. Also where I put my finger kind of looks like, like teardrops, so. Now, in addition to my paints and a couple brushes and the airbrush itself, um, I do have a large pile of uh, paper towels so that way I can clean my brushes and the airbrush itself. Um, normally to try and clear out a color, I just go ahead and pour a little bit of water into it and then I just let it all get out, all that water. I am going to go ahead and do some red hair for our clown, my dude. 
And hopefully the hair actually, yeah, the hair seems to be painting pretty nicely because it's supposed to be like human-like. So, plus he's mainly bald because they scalped his ass, so. I'm gonna do a little red nose. Kinda looks like blood spatter, but it's fine. It's fine. Like, you see. Let's see. You see. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna keep saying it's fine. It's not fine, but it, I'm just gonna keep telling myself that. So, maybe one day it'll be fine. He's got a mean mug, man. Like, he's kind of a creepy clown. I'm not gonna lie. He's like kinda scary looking. It also looks like he might have snorted like human blood, so that's kind of terrifying. Oh man, that just, I'm not even afraid of clowns and that just like made me uncomfortable. That just made me real uncomfortable, so. It's not looking bad! I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. I wasn't expecting it to turn out this not terrible. Alright, so I did a little bit of yellow. I haven't done it yet, I just put a little bit of yellow in here. And I'm gonna do just a little bit along the lips. Now I'm gonna paint his eyes black and then my masterpiece will be complete. I feel like some sort of a horrible Frankenstein and I'm absolutely for it. Let's get a little bit of the this black, make his eyes black like a demon. <laughs> it's great, we have fun here. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, God. Oh, God. I should not have done that. I regret every choice I've ever made. Okay, he's done. <laughs> For any children who are going to have nightmares about this, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So, yeah. So, there's Harold. I'm going to write his name on the back and sign my own name. So, that way, when he is sitting out there for the world to see, everybody knows who created this monstrosity. Good news for you guys. We have two more that we're going to be doing. So stay tuned for those. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun for me to make. I know there wasn't a lot of engagement because I'm not really doing a tutorial because I'm not great at this. I'm just like having fun. So I hope it got you into the Halloween spirit. It certainly did for me. He's really freaking me out with those black eyes. Um, yeah, so if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Halloween's my favorite time. We have a lot of great content coming at you. I've spent a lot of money on makeup. I've done a lot of tutorials, a lot of hauls, a lot of that cool stuff, and we're waiting to give away the 100 subscriber giveaway, so please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see every time we post new content. As always, I love you guys with all my heart, and I hope you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist. You want to know how I got these scars? <laughs>